we lost thousands, thousands of, of light poles, you know, untold dozens of miles of cable. Uh, we had to make a choice on whether to feed people or keep them warm. How would I have benefited or the emergency forces benefited from drones in that case? And it turns out that it's information. This is not uh, you know, specific to Puerto Rico. There is a gap between the capabilities that we know we have and capabilities that I think first responders and emergency management and communities need. To actually provide the resources and the help and the technology that a community needs in the middle of an emergency response actually requires a lot of coordination beforehand. Let that community, that government, that entity say, you know, we had an issue here last time. We had a gap in this capability. We have a gap in this coverage. We really needed responsive imaging here and we needed some sort of database where we could see progress back and forth. But we just need to put that in a cogent hole that makes sense to the folks who are going to have to, in, in tons almost of desperation, have to use those technologies. And that only happens, as I used to say in my, as we all used to say in my, our former aviation career, that happens at airspeed zero. When we are on the ground in a comfy chair with a bunch of people and we can sit around the table and say what really needs to happen the last time because we were all there and you know we can do better.